Stand by for Dragon Ball Z. Coming next. Hey guys, Poohhead189 here, and today I have some pretty sad news. The first English narrator of Dragon Ball Z ever has sadly passed away on October 6th, 2024. For those of you who never watched the Ocean dub, it might not be the biggest deal, but this is the guy that made people really locked in when a new episode came out. In fact, his legendary voice helped solidify me as a fan. And say what you will with the Ocean dub, it did put Dragon Ball's foot in the door when it came to the West. I grew up with the Ocean dub as a small kid, and while some of it was fairly campy and strange, I still stand by it being a fairly good dub for the most part. And the narration was certainly one of the strongest performances out of all of it. And Harris was not simply a narrator. He was a radio voice and a worker in the entertainment industry for over 50 years, a voice talent for other roles himself, and was beloved by a lot of people in his line of work. In fact, while his work means a lot to me, I think it's important to hear a eulogy by someone else. And so I'm going to read a post made by Ian James Corlett, the first ever English Goku, when he found out the legendary Doc Harris had passed away. Here it is. Buckle up, this is going to take a minute. We lost one of the greats today. Though Gilbert Achenlek has shuffled off this mortal coil, their impact on me and countless others will not be soon forgotten. Gil was best known as Doc Harris, a Canadian radio superstar and fixture on Vancouver airwaves in its long-forgotten heyday. Dragon Ball fans will remember him as the OG narrator of the Ocean Dub days. Doc was a huge force in my early career. More than just a DH, he lived and breathed music. He also had a keen eye for movies. I first met him when I was working at the music store and sold him some audio slash recording gear. Seizing upon any slim opportunity to get my foot in the door, I struck up a relationship with him. In short order, he graciously included me in his world. I would do comedy call-in bits with him, and ultimately song parodies and topical music bits. I remember being struck by the stark differences between his on-air language and his really salty off-air linguistic style. Much later in our careers, we would both enjoy working in animation when the industry came to Vancouver. Shows like Barbie, Camp Candy, John Candy's animated series, Captain and the Game Master, and most notably, Dragon Ball. He was the king of malapropism. And coming up is Kim Mitchell's Irish classic, Patio Lanterns, or sliding in at number three on the charts is Sadie's Swedish Tattoo. He was one of a kind. This summer, when we were back in Vancouver, I must have said, I must see Doc on this trip. I owe him so much. Well, at least a lunch. And now it's too late. Sorry, Doc. I owe you one. Actually, I owe you a hundred lunches. Rest in peace, Doc. Man, it really sucks when you get this kind of news. But at least he lived a really long, fulfilling life. And I felt like he deserved a video for, if nothing else, a shout-out so that others would at least know how cool he was, and how his work is still with us. And to that end, here's a few extra clips of him giving his badass narration. Alright guys, thanks for listening. See ya. Next, Dragon Ball Z. Berter and Jace take on Goku as the struggle for Dragon Balls continues. Next time on Dragon Ball Z. On the next episode of Dragon Ball Z, the two Saiyan warriors Nappa and Vegeta decide to stop on the planet Arlea while on their way to Earth. And the unfortunate inhabitants of Arlea are in for an experience they'll never forget. Look out, Earth. You're next. On the next episode of Dragon Ball Z, Nappa unleashes like a tornado, and the Earth's special forces learn what it's like to fight a Saiyan elite. No one said it was going to be easy. The Battle of the Century is coming at you on the next episode of Dragon Ball Z.